Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to solve a pretty simple but surprisingly commonly asked question. And basically that question uh, boils down to, can you run a dual monitor setup with two different graphics cards in the same PC? Or similar situation, you know, can you have two monitors cooked up to two different graphics cards, etc. Basically an extension of our can you run two graphics cards in the same PC video. Two different graphics cards, I should mention. So, let me set the scene for you. You just bought your brand new gaming PC, but you decided to maybe upgrade a graphics card or something, and you've got your brand new, let's say, I don't know, 1660 Ti, a great performer for a great price. So you buy a 1660 Ti and, and you put it in here and you want to use dual uh, monitors, right? You want to have two monitors, let's say you have an old TV and you know, your gaming monitor, but for some reason they both use HDMI? Well, that should be no problem for a modern graphics card. Oh wait, this 1660 Ti only has one HDMI port. Well, you could go out and buy one of those fancy, expensive, active display port to HDMI adapters, or you could do something smarter than that. Well, smarter in the sense it saves money. So while digging around your old computer, you figure out you find a uh, let's say, old Radeon graphics card in your HP workstation. Uh, so you've got this old Radeon graphics card which has an HDMI port. So now you've got two. But they're on two different cards from very different generations. Can you run each monitor, one on each different card? Your gaming monitor on your gaming card and your, you know, old TV 1366 by 768 or whatever resolution that is monitor on your you know old graphics card well let's find out so we're just gonna put it in our PC I got something stuck to my foot that's great I'm just gonna put them in the PC just like plug in our one PCIe power because we don't need one for that old graphics card. That's the one thing great about low power graphics cards. They can take all their power directly from the PCI Express slot. So that might be another positive is that you don't need to run out and buy a bigger power supply for that old graphics card. Because often when running two powerful graphics cards, you do need to get a new power supply depending on what you have already. But let's just plug in both of our HDMIs. One into our amazing 1660 Ti and one into our old Radeon graphics card. All right, let's power on the system, and if it works, both of these monitors should turn on right away. Here we go. Power is on. Both of our graphics cards are indeed working, as you can hear. And let's just see if both of our monitors turn on right away. Hopefully, that old Radeon graphics card actually works, and, oh, and it turns on. Just like that. So I believe, actually, no, okay, so the TV is connected to the 1660 Ti because I messed up my two wires, but let's just see. Let's make sure they both work. I actually don't even know if the second graphics card even works. So we're going to find out in one second. I'll be right back. I'm going to log into the system and uh, make sure that, oh, actually, nope, there it goes. Turns right on. Huh. Speaking of which, all right, let's log on and see what we've got here in terms of monitor options. I'm going to move the camera a little bit over so you can see the monitor better. So as you can see, we've successfully booted into Windows and both monitors are on and as you can see, so there's no funny business here. It is still both connected to our two graphics cards. I hope the, this camera doesn't like light and doesn't like low light area. We've got our keyboard here, this random Logitech keyboard, that doesn't matter in the video. And uh, it, funny, funnily enough, I should say, even though that's not a word, um, it actually recognized right away to can do the continuation from the left screen to the right, which you could barely see, but it is. And um, if we go into our NVIDIA control panel, which we do have because of the 1660 Ti, we can find it only one screen does appear in this panel, but if we go to our Windows display settings, because we will see there are two displays connected to this uh, PC. Let's actually zoom in on the camera so you guys can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Sorry guys, low production quality. I don't have a cameraman. 
but that's the size point. You can clearly see there are two monitors connected. Obviously, I messed up the order of the HDMI and uh, other HDMI, I guess. Uh, with the two graphics cards, I put the nice monitor into the garbage graphics card, but as you can see, it does work, and surprisingly enough, the garbage graphics card is running this monitor at its resolution that it's supposed to run with, limited by, of course, the capabilities of HDMI. Uh, it is a DisplayPort monitor normally, but just for the example, I'm using HDMI. So, as you can see, it does work, and it does, I am surprised, actually, first try auto-recognize to continue from this one to that one in that way. So, that basically answers the question. I know this was kind of a weird video, and a lot of you who are watching this, uh, who are subscribed to my channel, may not have had this question. But, when I, I did kind of, you know, do some research on, uh, on popular questions, for once, I did research. I know. And uh, I found that this was actually a widely searched question, surprisingly enough. And I didn't really fully answer it in my Can You Use Two GPUs video, so I thought I'd make a separate video answering it. And this is also a test of my new lavalier mic system. Uh, it was very expensive, so I'm hoping this worked, and if it didn't, I'll have to record this again. Uh, but that's not the point, why am I even saying this? So, I hope if you didn't know that, you learned something today. And if you didn't know that, you reaffirmed your beliefs. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm actually happy that little Radeon graphics card worked, because we'll do some testing with that later. Um, and also the 1660 Ti will be in a video later. Uh, that's really it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.